Hey guys, we're live in the studio with another episode of the Three Doges. This is going to be a fun one, right? This is going to be a fun oh, one. Yeah. I'm Ashton, at Crypto Show on Twitter, at Jesse Couch on Twitter, at I'm Not The Wolf, Wolf of Poloniex on Twitter. Not financial advice, but let's take a look at some crypto charts and some crypto news. And let's kick it off again with... Mainnet. That's, main... a, big, that's a big deal. Yeah. That's a huge deal. Mainnet right. launch of Elrond. CoinMarketCal says it's at the end of this month, July 30th. Yes. Elrond, another... That's a big news story. Scalable network blockchain. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I've, I've, I've heard a lot of buzz on the social, on, on, on the Twitters, the Twatters. There's been a lot of buzz, um, and you really need to have your own blockchain protocol that's super scalable mm -hmm. if you want to have buzz now. You know, they don't really, unless you're Chainlink and you're doing something amazing uh, with an Ethereum token, you sort of need to have your own network. Yeah. Um, or at least your own shard, but shards still aren't here yet, so. I don't even know what a shard is, but it's shard. I think it's sort of like a, like a, like a, are we going to... A part of a blockchain. Start over? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what a shard is. What do you mean? Why, why start over? No, what's a shard? You don't know what a shard is? I think it's like a mainnet, but it can connect to other mainnets. <laughs> oh. And so, like, they all kind of can intercommunication, and then okay. they can all, like, do work. I'm but, gonna... like, not the same work as other, everyone else kind of separates it out. Like a parent with like branch well they're nets. calling a lot of people are calling it the ethereum root shard for the eth so that's going to be the root shard or the okay. or the beacon shard i've heard the beacon chain it was the beacon chain but that sharding is part of i think it's part of allowing you to segregate transactions um, okay. so that you don't have to you know re recall from the beginning it's like the finality like yeah, you can okay. separate it into shards so you don't have to see this you you can use your this own might just stick to my too. lines and my charts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so each shard can have its own token too so it only needs to use ethereum when it's hitting that beacon chain and so they can be like staking with their other token on their kind of other network that works with every other network in this ecosystem okay that's actually pretty cool this is why we need to invest in ethereum Beacon. Ethereum 2.0, baby. Ethereum 2.0. AKA our chain. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you do. Right, well, I guess these people will say Elrond, but you never know. Uh, Mainnet's uh, coming up. I like to usually sell Mainnet a little bit at least, but uh, let's see what the price is at. Yeah, well, uh, the people saw the Mainnet coming <laughs> and it's been pumped to the sky. What are you talking about? It's been pumped at all. Um, so I think it's a little late for people that uh, are getting in for the Mainnet. There's 13 days left right now until the Mainnet launch. Mm -hmm. But it uh, looks like it could be 13 days until this drops 90%. Well, it's, it's usually like right before Mainnet launch or some sort of product launch or something like that. Like a week or two weeks prior mm -hmm. is when it dumps. So well, it's yeah. 13 days, which is under two weeks right now. So Any we'll see now. what happens. I guess next week on Three Doges, uh, we'll be giving the funeral for Elrond. <laughs> now that the main net has launched, <laughs> the main net's launched. It was a flop, guys. Uh, nice yeah, because nice a, a lot of these chains aren't getting any adoption at all when they launch. That's the main thing, right? Uh, it used to be, you know, DApps. Now it's running DeFi and staking. I know they're doing staking on Elrond, Stake. but even with everything, you know, <laughs> I guess it's, new hot it's, it's easier to uh, get adoption when it's staking because you just literally have to just leave your coins in your wallet. I prefer shard staking. Though. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's about getting that mainstream adoption. How are they gonna, how are they gonna be the next Ethereum, right? And not just be a network that nobody uses. Also on the upcoming calendar list is Bancor version 2.0 at the end of this month as well july 31st and bancor is uh it's a, it's a fairly old project relatively compared to some of these other ones right they've come a long way yeah. apparently it's DeFi too but i didn't know DeFi existed two or three years ago DeFi yeah, before right. DeFi. <laughs> we, DeFi we were setting DeFi. trends <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i think they had some controversy around the time of their raise but yeah. uh it's well, price, definitely price just dropped and yeah. dropped and dropped. It was really uh, not a good performer when it first came out. Mm -hmm. it, it didn't even set a floor. I was looking at the chart. It goes a, like angled down forever and then just bounces hard. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I know they were doing an airdrop around New Year's uh, of 2020 here, and that 
did nothing. It made the price go down even more. But uh, around you really had to have like strong belief in this project because it never it was never flat. It just keeps going yeah. down and down. Yeah, just one of those ones where you're down ninety percent and you're like, should I just keep holding? <laughs> and, and you know that like, you can go down another 90%. My 2018 <laughs> buy actually is now in the profit on this one. Yeah, well, in but May, it, it started turning around. And better, a better hold than Bitcoin. 666% since May in two months. I mean, it's going to, in my opinion, it's going to drop soon. The fact that we're hitting that liquidity level where you bought yeah. back in 2018. Makes sense. Everyone that bought back then... Are, that's still <laughs> they still have hands of steel they're going to want to sell as soon as they see a little bit of a of a dump happening so yeah because well, they're probably like oh i'm never holding that for that long ever again. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to watch out for those sellers for yeah. sure yeah well version 2.0 could be big right and they have a cool no no, <laughs> no? the news of it could be big for the price hey it's so we'll 2. hope 0. the application is actually really cool but i think yeah. 2.0 anything is something that people can show so. Yeah, if Bancor 2.0 is as big as Ethereum 2.0, then they're in for a good time. Um, so yeah, I'd, be, I think, I'd be looking to buy the dip though on this one. Like, yeah, yeah. W just wait it, just wait it out. Mm -hmm. Wait see, for the see where it is in six months. Wait for the correction. Whoa, six months is a long time. I mean, yeah, it, it, I would say at the 0 0.5 fib level, so like about halfway price of what it's at right now. Um, if it drops, no, six down, months like, is a long time. Imagine buying it last April and just watching it go down for yeah. a year <laughs> there's like no end in sight just buying oh, the dip man. for a year imagine living 2018 again <laughs> <laughs> i always liked this when i heard a hedge fund was involved i don't know for sure but that's something mm -hmm. i always like to hear about a coin mm -hmm. yeah definitely yeah i spoke to the founder and it seems like they're working hard so but obviously elrond well, and well, DeFi is heating up too so yeah, this might have some long-term potential here for DeFi, a DeFi leader. Mm -hmm. That's the big thing. They definitely DeFi. have built a bit of a community over the years that they've been around. So yeah, but definitely could use a little bit of a pullback. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there is one coin that relatively hasn't pumped too much yet, and it's a very cool project. VR is amazing. Mm. Decentraland, Mana, Skyrim. Skyrim, Skyrim VR. VR. <laughs> that was cool. We were watching those YouTube videos now. I'm all jacked up to buy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, VR. It, you said, you know, VR, the graphic in VR is terrible. And I brought up Half Life Alex, and nobody out there has ever seen Half Life Alex. It's amazing. Go check it out. The graphics were amazing. Yeah. That's one of the downsides of VR right now is, you know, you're going to a VR conference or VR world, and like the graphics are sort of like just, you know, 2005. And you're like, well, Where's the real life? You know, I want virtual reality to be better than real life. Yeah, I mean, I, I was pretty hyped up for this project, actually. I actually know. This is one of the coins I actually know the fundamentals <laughs> behind. But uh, but I was there for, like, the mainnet launch just because I'm so into, like, VR. But I was there for the mainnet launch and showed them and even, did, like, a little Twitch um, live stream of, of testing it. And I got to say, um, I mean, it was... You know, it, it was cool that it's all like being run through the blockchain, et cetera, et cetera, mm -hmm. all the, the, the land, land and the titles, ecosystem. Yeah. But the graphics and the yeah. functionality of it was not it. Um, but, you know, that was just like basically the, in my opinion, like the beta test launch. Well, that's where we wait for Decentraland 2.0. They're, holding, 2 they're uh, holding back the <laughs> graphics, I believe. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I mean, they, you can't even do VR right now, but they, it's supposed to be for yeah. VR in the future. So. <laughs> so. It'd be interesting to see, like, once they polish everything up together and and you can actually, inter like, interact with other people through VR, it'd be really interesting to see. Well, well I think one of the coolest parts is that, you know, you can use the mana to buy the land mm -hmm. and you own the land outright and you can put whatever you want there, right? And you can have house parties yeah. and it's on the blockchain. So it's like, I mean, you build your virtual that's, house. That's one of the coolest things is that it's, it, it, the, the platform actually created a ecosystem, a real estate ecosystem on you know, the digital web. Mm -hmm. So like, there's nothing else as a, that's really been able to do that. Maybe like Roblox or something lately, but yeah. Um, and a lot of those values, uh, the land values have appreciated the top, more, more than real life. Land. Yeah. It's crazy. It <laughs> it's it's highly illiquid, but the values are mm -hmm. way up there on the people that bought the auction. Yeah. You should have been buying virtual land, not virtual currency mm -hmm. in 2018. Mm -hmm. Cause this stuff, uh, the land title has, done nothing but go up 
It's like some places, like a little plot of land, like $300,000. Like, what the heck? That's a <laughs> Virtual <money>. land. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Buy a real land first. Just, <laughs> that's crazy. Like, put some somewhere where you can have your computer to yeah. get to, 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 to get to Decentraland. But I think, you know, one day, hopefully shortly, this might turn around and head back into the bull. Well, we're, we're seeing it curve up very, very slowly. It's just kind of dead within that accumulation mm -hmm. level. But um, eventually, I do think it's going to break up out of that previous high, which I think was the launch. Um, and once it breaks that resistance, then it's just going to keep launching. I remember when uh, they they showed up at uh, the Bitcoin meetup, like one of the, a day or a couple of days before the the token sale. Mm -hmm. And we thought like, wow, this is super cool. And then it sold out in like 10 seconds. like like 30 seconds it was like super popular obviously everyone thought it was super cool and i'm glad they're still around so it's a great project um so yeah i guess that's all that we have for this episode those those three coins uh this three doges smash that like button subscribe to the crypto coin show on youtube subscribe to the crypto coin show on twitter subscribe to jesse, yeah, couch, jesse couch on twitter and at i'm not the wolf wolf of poloniacs on twitter and we'll see you guys next episode